so hello everyone in this video we'll be continuing our styling so let's start that so the things which are remaining here is this one so we have to design this task uh, list or to-do list item that we'll be doing in this video and we'll also be uh, seeing that how we can add the icons uh, so let me just add something so add it so you can see that both the icons we'll be also seeing that how you can add these icons by using some great library which is react icons we'll be doing that so let's just style this so we'll be going into our code and grabbing this first of all uh, this one which is to do list oh, I'm copying this ID and inside that I can simply write the class name flex flex direction column So right now it is only one and then we'll be accessing this one which is to do list item class let's just give a background color to it background color and then we can specify some display flex in this as well Oh, let me just give background color it should be black and a little bit other than black if I see that okay it's lighter so I can copy this uh, color and I can paste it here yeah I can give some display flex because we want items to come uh, differently we'll be just adding that icons first let me just give justify content space between yeah then we can add some padding we can add padding of 25 pixel I can get some padding bottom 10 pixel padding top 10 pixel and a margin bottom of 10 pixel if I do this you can see that it is having some effect also this button area should be having some margin bottom let me just give 15 pixel you can see that it is having some gap now inside that oh, first of all let me just make it uh, into two divs so inside that i can create it inside one div let me just do it again and in the other dev we'll be writing our icons so for the icons I can install another package which is react icons so I can go to the directory which is to do app inside that I can install the icons npm install react icons dash dash save that will be installed and you can see the uh, library as well if you want so I can show you, show you that as well so this is the react icons page let it load so you can see that 
here we can search for any icon for example delete so you can see that a lot of delete buttons are there or delete icons are there I can choose any one if I want so I can use this one I can copy this and import it from the react icons I think it is not loaded just let me from we have to use react icons package and then after that uh, this the first name or the folder name in which this uh, and design icon is there so we are using that so this you can do for all the icons like uh, it has a lot of uh, different icons like flat icon and material design icon other different icons you can use that these are the categories like of different icons so it shows all of that but we need to tell this that which directory you are getting that from okay similarly we'll be grabbing this check icon let's check let's import that as well we can use this bs check lg and you can import it inside this from react icons and then bs bs is the directory for this icon then we can use this icons inside this directory of oh, inside this div i can use this ai outline delete i can give it a class of icons or simply icon i can give the bs icon as well check lg i can give it a class of check icon maybe inside that i can write title attribute where I can tell that do you want to delete it title inside that I can specify do you want to complete it so these are the things we have added now so let's just see what happens let me see the main one yeah so it's still compiling that now it should show the icons so you can see that both the icons are there now we'll be styling the uh, heading description and these uh, icons as well so let's do that so first of all i'll be styling the heading which is h3 so i'll be accessing that in here so i can use the same class not this one it's list item and then h3 i can give it a font size of 25 pixel and then i can give a color of rgb which is our primary color then i can give a font weight of bold because i want to show it a little bit bolder actually the uh, headings are by default bolder so i will be giving margin zero because by default all the headings get some margin so it should be styled also I can style the paragraph to do list item P I can give the paragraph margin top and other things which I want and also the first thing is we have to give some font size a little bit smaller and I can give a color of grayish I can give a little bit white I can give margin top 0 pixel or maybe a little bit larger so 8 pixel so you can see that it is styled now now we'll be styling these icons uh, the class for the icon is icon so we'll be grabbing that first of all i want to give it a font size of uh, 25 pixel the same one yes getting larger 
I can also give it 35 I think 35 will be good yeah I can give it a cursor pointer similarly I'll be giving the check icon font size 25 pixel I can also give it a margin left. Yeah. So you can see that both the icons are there. But I want the check icon to be a little bit green in color. So I can give the color to it if I want. I can use the same RGB for matte, which is 230, 122. Yes, now good also i want to change on the hover like i want to change the color on hover so i can do that as well i can change the color of this icon which is a, my delete icon so i can change the color to red color to red so it's, it's a very important step that we have to make and this one i can make a little bit darker so on hover it will be a little bit darker green so i can make a little bit darker so dark green so this one we are doing you can see that yeah also the cursor I think I haven't added that so in this also cursor pointer so you can see that it is changing the color a little bit yeah so we can also make it aligned like you can see that it is coming inside uh, this like in the same line so we can add they're coming on in the center so actually we haven't added the center so we'll be doing that so just we need that align items center so it should make all of this in the center you can see that right so this we have styled actually now oh no this one is not this yeah this one is the main thing so we have styled this actually and we can give some box shadow if I want so I haven't given that let me give some box shadow to it 0 pixel 3 pixel 5 pixel gray not gray it should be a little bit darker gray so I can give the color from here so it will look cool now Yeah, after that we have completed almost the styling now we'll be working on the dynamics of this um, to-do list we'll be adding the states and other features so we can actually make these tasks dynamic so where we can add task delete task everything so we'll be doing that practically in the next video we have completed the styling uh, and now we'll be working on the main features or the actual features of the to-do list so let's meet in the another one thank you for watching this video